Hey guys, big welcome back to a little uh, RV makeover video. I did a little intro to this RV uh, a few days ago, so we went to pick it up today, and she's a beaut. Uh, not really. It's actually pretty craptastic. It's the inside is it's bad. It doesn't matter though because I'm a contractor, so that I'm not too worried about. I can rip all this out and throw in some new shit. That I'm not too worried about. What I am worried about is the whatever is going on in the rear end. Um, driving it, it becomes really shaky. Or not maybe the rear end, could be in the transmission. Um, so I'm still like uh, almost 200 kilometers from home on the side of the road waiting on CAA to come tow it because I don't want to risk it. Um, and then uh, I will address what's going on tomorrow in the daylight and be back to... Uh, tell you what I find. So I did go stop and I threw some uh, ATF in it thinking that maybe it was low. Um, and that didn't work. And there's, in addition to that, I didn't test prior to buying, but the turn signals and brake lights don't work, but the running lights do. Um, so then I went and bought a relay, put it in, although it said it was the wrong one. Like uh, Canadian Tire said they didn't have the right one, but I just threw one in anyway just to try it and it didn't work. Uh, so that's something I'll have to address. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. Start getting a little bit of buyer's remorse on this one, but it's, uh, anything can be fixed. You know what I mean? I've watched a lot of, uh, videos of people fixing shit and these walls right here, not bad. Um, the fridge wall there, it's got a little tiny bit of cracking in the wood there, but I probably won't even touch that little section right there. Just leave it. That's good enough. Um, anyway, it is what it is. Let's uh, hope Mr. Tow Man can actually tow this out of here and we can uh, hopefully check it out. The good news is the floor is solid. I haven't found any soft spots on the floor. Stairs are good and solid. This couch is in uh, decent enough shape. It seems like nothing wrong with it. These are shit. These need to be replaced, but so do the benches anyway. Um, so anyway, I'll be back with an update. Okay, guys, we are back, um, under the RV now, and I was trying to look and see if I could find anything wrong with it for the vibration, and everything actually seems really solid. I'm not sure. I'm kind of left at a loss here. Sorry if it's got a glare and whatnot, but like... I pushed on the whole drive shaft and looked at all the uh, like the universal joints, the hanger bearing. Everything seems solid. There's nothing I can grab and wiggle. Um, so the search for the issue continues. By the way, that tow home ended up costing me like 200 bucks on top of my CA membership stuff. So for mileage, because it's oversized or whatever, but. I guess not a big deal at this point. Nothing as good as throwing, uh, what's that? Throwing good money at bad money, right? So let's continue. All right, so here we are underneath having a look at it. And the underside of this, I gotta say, keeping in mind, this is a 1996, um, it's from British Columbia. It is mint. There's like no, like surface rust, don't get me wrong. Obviously there's surface rust. But I mean, the actual cab cab corners everything is mint on this thing um the exhaust is great um brand new starter and the engine mounts i know you guys probably can't see up in here that's what i was thinking maybe a bad engine mount but i mean they look solid to me but look up at this uh you know all of this a lot of you know vehicles from this age would be completely rotted out here. This is in like fantastic condition, which is what actually made it so that it was kind of worth the purchase for me was because I was like, well, the cab itself, the frame, look at that frame, that is solid as can be. So the actual chassis is in fantastic condition. The cosmetic shit, all of it pretty well bad, um, but this vibration i just don't get it and then i was thinking I, i'm not familiar with this here this mechanism that's actually the parking brake um which is on the uh 
on the drive shaft. I've never come across that before. I'm not a mechanic though. I'm mechanically inclined, but I'm not a mechanic. So uh, kind of a cool design, I guess, because it doesn't go into the rear brakes. However, it looks like a pain in the ass to fix because then you got to drop the drive shaft. So I guess it is what it is, but let's continue looking. And anyone that's got ideas, you know, throw them in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Not sure if this would be an issue, but this stabilizer sits pretty straight down the stabilizer uh, sway bar mount or whatever and this one is all jacked up leaning forward so then i wonder hmm could that be an issue i don't know if it would affect it that much but maybe yeah that could be because that bar is way out compared to that one So, yeah, that may be something to investigate. You guys tell me. Okay, here we are. We're back at it, and a few days has actually passed, and I don't know where I left off on the video, but ultimately, for the tail lights, or sorry, for the brake lights and turn signals, the hazards and shit not working, um, my research online led me to believe that maybe this part was defective. So I got a new one on Amazon, it was like 35 bucks. So if that's not the problem, well, I wasted $35, not the end of the world, but I thought for the price of it, it, uh, you know, worth a shot. Um, and then I accidentally went ahead and started removing it without you guys. And then realized, oh yeah, I'm trying to do like an RV rebuild video series. So maybe, it's a good idea to film what I'm doing for a video series about filming what I'm doing. So let's see if we can get this wire off just like that. And you gotta use like screwdrivers and shit. And sorry if the camera's all over the place. I, I got like a dollar store mount for it the other day to film the Eclipse and shit. And Come on. Oh, there's one on both sides. Um, there. And yeah, that's where we're at. So hopefully this is the right switch. It, uh, it should be. I don't know which way is, oh, it goes like that. So hmm. a little tricky to get the wires into or something. Uh, where's this one go? Right up here. And sorry guys, I'm making that camera shake everywhere with, it's kind of a crappy mount, but it is what it is. Come on, you're so close to fitting. Uh, no, it's not the right one. Maybe. What? Uh, sorry, I'm just comparing my original to this. And I don't know. It said this was for it. Why doesn't it, it fit? Hmm. We gotta compare this to the other one because something don't look right here. <clears throat> Amazon bastards. Yep, it's different. So, I'll show you guys what's going on here. It's very close, but very close, but different. I don't know if you guys can see that. This has an extra pin in the middle, 
and an extra pin over down over here so that did not work that was a fail that'll have to go back um, everything else looks the same like I mean this little top here is a little different but I don't think that matters that's just a cover um, yeah I don't know why uh, I don't know anyway unfortunately that didn't work okay here we back on the uh, original part which I took apart without you guys because I'm a crappy youtuber and that's what I do uh, but that's okay I'm going back in now to show you what I discovered so I took this apart and I was like well how complicated could it be it's not like there's a computer board or anything in here so I open it up and I'm like wow all these terminals and shit look dirty so I took a little bit of sandpaper and I sanded them down a little bit like this a little 400 grit give it a little rubby dubby and then uh, by putting it back together I was able to get limited functionality on my stuff now this green seems like it's a paste or something um, so it's obviously some kind of a grease that's on here to allow them to slide uh oh oh shit well I don't know hopefully we can figure out how those went back in um, yes it appears that it's so that they can slide but I'm not all about the sliding right now I'm more about the uh, getting my lights working and we can always worry about the uh, toony slide later and for now let's just see if we can clean these up and try to make good contact so where I'm at was I had the rear turn signals working and then the I don't know if that's supposed to be one um, and one of the fronts so there's potential that the right side on the front is just burned out or something I haven't actually looked into it yet but only the left was working so yeah I don't know how important this grease is it's probably to keep it from corroding and shit but in my books it seems like it was creating more problems than than good but I don't know okay so now we've got that stuff figured out those are all cleaned up let's see the fuck did I do this is not good uh, let's see that goes in like that and then this goes in like that and then oh there's a spring right here look at this this is I didn't even actually have to go to school to be a mechanic I was just born this way I like the old Lady Gaga song I think that's Lady Gaga right yeah, I don't know, I was born this way. Something like that. Anyway. So, what I also did was, I took my little doohickey here, and I was kind of bending these up a little bit. Because, I don't know, in my books, when I checked the math on it, it seemed to me that they, uh, aren't contacting the board as as well as you might like so why don't we go ahead and see oh yeah we pulled that wire out um why don't we go ahead and see what that does see if that fixes it okay and because i'm a mechanic I'm gonna say that it will. Um, yeah. Okay. 
So put that back in like that. And then I guess we will see. What's up? Does that just sit like that or is that? That seems to me that it should be doing something, I don't know. Maybe not. Just sits there like that. I mean, it could be. So, let's try again. Out in the center. A little tricky to get it all to come back together. Oh. And let's see. It seems that we're hitting on that. Let's see if that works. No, we're not quite we're not quite there. Something's binding on something else. Oh, I heard a bike go by. I should just go ride my bike. Instead say screw the stupid RV. Just be like, eh. The RV's broken. Time to go out on my bike. Um, trying to see if I see anything that's preventing it from going together, but not really. Uh, maybe it just needs more pressure. There. That looks like it's pretty good. Alright, let's slap a couple of screws in her. Screw her good. And uh, try that. See if that makes any difference. One. We don't need to put them all in here. It ain't that kind of a van, you know what I mean? We just got our or RV or whatever. We only need a few, but what a piss off. That part said that that fit this van, so, or truck, whatever, fuck. Let's see. Now, when I did my little test there, I didn't actually put all the screws in. So looking at it now and thinking about it with a sober mind, I can say that it works on a compression so maybe it does have to have all its screws in because that's, it's got to compress all those contacts together. So maybe for what it's worth, we're going to put them all in. Shit, here comes the cops. Actually, it's probably an ambulance, but. All right. And I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it was a siren in the distance. All right, let's see, does that, okay, that still works, that still works. That still works? Okay. Let's plug it in. Fixing problems. Probably not, but maybe. Well, I had made some progress there, so on that last one. Okay. Well, now we have less progress because it's not... Four ways aren't working. So we've made less progress than we had. Hmm. The wipers still work. Well, I'll continue looking into it. I'll be back. And after a little trial, trial and error, I figured out uh, what I screwed up. Unfortunately, I didn't film it, but anyway, I just bent a little piece of metal that wasn't supposed to be bent. Once I fixed that, we now have four ways. Let's go look at the back. And there we go. Uh, so we have four ways and turn signals. I've already gone around and verified all of that is working. Let's try to figure out the brake lights. 
And actually that's all it took. So I was reading online that the brake lights run through that switch. And sure enough, I've got a stick jammed in there. That is brake lights. So we have actually fixed something. Okay, what we got here is I actually mounted my Insta360 under the RV. You can see some zip ties off to the side there. And I recorded just a couple of minutes of driving and I was trying to see about the, uh, the shake because I was really suspecting that maybe that carrier bearing in the middle there um, was going to be the issue or universal. But like I said I grabbed earlier in the video, I grabbed on everything and nothing seemed crappy. Um, so I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with these. It's nothing that I've really had to ever deal with before. But it doesn't look like excessive play to me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just this is gonna be a couple minutes of video and um, I'm actually I, I was thinking it was gonna be this, but I'm at this point I'm leaning towards what we're gonna get to in the next clip as maybe uh, more of a possibility as to what it is. Um, but I wanted to leave this clip in here just in case any of you guys that are familiar with this, you might be looking at this and go, oh wow, that's totally shot. What are you doing, man? Um, but I don't really think so. So um, yeah, you don't, uh, I don't know why I put so much of this clip in here. You don't have to watch all of it if you want. You can skip forward two minutes, but um, I'm gonna show you a couple different angles, like looking that way. And you're gonna notice that the uh, stuff is rattling. Um, well, we're also driving down a bumpy road, I guess, too, but um, but that's not the shake I'm talking about. The shake is like, yeah, it feels like something screwed up in the front end or something, but I don't know. Anyway, we'll get to that in a minute, but if you have a comment on this, as I've said several times, just go ahead and throw it in there. And Anyone that watches my videos knows that anytime I do a voiceover, I always get a message. I always forget to put do not disturb, and I'll always get messages. So, once again, there you go, you got to hear a message. And, uh, it's kind of a cool way to uh, check under your car, though. The Insta360 is uh, a pretty sweet camera for this. But anyway, I will... Uh, I'll cut the clip there. You got to see what it is. If, if you think there's an issue, let me know. Okay, so I want to wrap this video up because I don't want to make these too long in the series. But now that we've seen the uh, drive shaft, um, that leaves me with another possible culprit for why the engine runs, or not, the engine does run a little rough to say it's only got 110,000 kilometers but the shaking, and so right here, this is the manifold, and then this is one of the bolt holes for the manifold to go, like to bolt onto the head, and that's cracked, and you can see the soot, so by the gasket, so it leaks there, and on that one right there, uh, just from here so i did buy a new gasket which will be here uh tomorrow but like i'll be honest i am nervous as all hell to try to replace the gasket because i don't want to snap one of these manifold bolts so i'm going to buy some pb blaster i think and just spray the hell out of them and then i don't know i guess from there just hope for the best but it won't pass a safety like we have to have our safety check with an exhaust leak so the whole rest of the exhaust seems good except for there so i can only run it for a minute like this because it's fucking blowing stuff but here actually i'll open this door and i'm gonna fire it up so you guys can see and anyone that's like mechanically inclined you tell me, would the leak there and there in the gasket and this cause it to shake really bad under load? 
you know, at around 60, 70, 80 kilometers an hour and up. Um, or is that not uh, not possible that that would be the issue? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and fire it up. appreciate any feedback anyone's got because I'm gonna upload this tonight so if anyone's got any ideas um, I can go from there and then in the next video we're gonna be installing uh, these which are the sway bar uh, things that I was showing and then I don't know for whatever reason I bought this for a hundred bucks on Amazon it's a, like a backup camera. I was just like, yeah, it would be easier to back up with a, with a camera. So that's the next video. And I've got this all torn apart right now. I've got the bed out. And I'll tell you what's been nice, though, is having a, a urinal in my driveway. So I've pissed in this thing like 12 times in, in four days or something. So that's really convenient. I may have to fix it up just for that alone. Um, also, I ripped that door off. So the interior is going to come out. That's going to be videos as well. But um, I didn't really want to get into doing that until I have verified that I'm going to actually have this thing running good. That was a dehumidifier trying to suck out some of the moisture. And uh, yeah, so that's going to wrap it up, guys. I appreciate any comments or whatever you got. Um, Although probably the most common comment is going to be to throw it in the lake or light it on fire or something. But no, honestly, it, it's it's not too bad if I can get it running right and driving right. The rest of it's the rest of it's gravy. I can fix the inside. I can fix the roof. All that. So, um, oh, actually, one more thing to touch on, which I made uh, a bunch of screenshots showing um, the prices of these. I'm not going to tell you what I paid yet. I, I kind of led up to it last time, but I never told you. And I'm not going to do it either this time. But what I will tell you is I made a bunch of clips, which I will use to, uh, to finalize the video. And based on those, you guys are once again welcome to leave your ideas of what you think we paid for it. Um, and, you know, and then we'll later on, we'll decide if we paid too much, too little whatever um i'm actually good with what i paid for it i'll tell you that so for whatever that's uh worth that little comment but uh yeah that'll wrap it up guys i appreciate everyone watching and hopefully uh you guys will have fun following along uh once we get the uh the mechanical sorted we will definitely be moving on to the roof and the interior so uh we'll see you guys soon thanks for watching bye